Welcome to Fantasy Island. Hi guys, welcome to my stream. Um, I've come up here for a reason now, because I can, I can do it now. Uh, just bear with me a minute. Anyways. Now. I couldn't say much earlier on, because obviously it was still ongoing. But I've just had a phone call back from the police. Um, the policeman took accepted the apology. Now, the reason why the police come round my house yesterday um, for this comms act thing <laughs> was because um, about four or five months ago, um, I rung up a certain police force because of a certain troll that is medically and psychotically not well. Um, is basically, um, I actually spoke to the officer up there and uh, I threatened to, to this officer, I threatened to kill this particular troller. And they took it sort of like they felt like quite alarmed and distressed by it um because i actually said to the police officer i said if you don't fucking do something about this troll i said i'm gonna i'm gonna find out where he lives and i'm gonna kill him and uh yeah they took a, a an offense to it and basically um the officer up there at the time um felt a little bit uneasy um, and basically just made a complaint to the officers down here. And, uh, yeah, that's what it was all about. So I can say the truth now because it's been dealt with. Um, I couldn't say much because it, it was still um, ongoing. So, um, yeah, I mean, I was in the wrong. I, I hold my hands up. You know, I could have said it a different way, but... It's all being dealt with now. I mean, the police have now said that the uh, the reason why the investigation is taking so long is because they're still gathering evidence up against the, this one particular troll. So um, I'm not going to mention who it is. Um, but um, they are being dealt with. It's just, it's just taking time. Um, they're just gathering up evidence now and... And liaison with this other police force and stuff like that. But, um, yeah. So that was the reason why the police come around my house yesterday. Was because of the fact that um, I'd made threats to this other police officer. Threatening that I was going to go and kill this troll if I ever found him. So, um, yeah, a bit of a dumb move on my behalf. But, like I say, um, I just said it out of anger. And uh, it won't be happening again. But at least I know now that things are on the move. The investigation is going pretty good. Um, the police are understanding that I'm very frustra frustrated. Um, and uh, to be fair, a lot of the members of my family are very frustrated as well. And they're angry as well. Um, but no, it is what it is. I've just got to be patient and just let the police do their jobs. And, uh, that's what's happening. That's all I know. Um, but the officer up there has accepted the letter and, and stuff like that. So, um, but like I say, the investigation is still ongoing. They're just gathering all the evidence up now. 
and uh, just got to let it, just got to be patient and let it ride out. So, so like I say, it's all all dealt with now. It's all well, it's being dealt with. So it's like they're just gathering evidence up now. Um, whatever they're doing, I don't know. Probably watching his streams and things like that. I don't know, but no, like I say, um, that's what happened. So I thought I'd just let everybody know the truth. Um, so like I say, um, just got to let the police do their jobs now. Let them do their investigations. And uh, it is what it is. As much as it's frustrating to wait, they always say all good things come to those who wait. So it's just got it's just patience now. So, but yeah, things are looking good. So come on, in. come on, in. go and lay down now, please. But yeah, everything's all goody goody goody. Whatever they're doing, I don't know. Probably watching his streams and things like that. I don't know. But no, like I say, um, that's what happened. So I thought I'd just let everybody know the truth. Um, so like I say, um, just got to let the police do their jobs now. Let them do their investigations. And... Uh, it is what it is. As much as it's frustrating to wait, they always say all good things come to those who wait. So it's just got it's just patience now. So, but yeah, things are looking good. So come on, in. come on, in. go and lay down now, please. But yeah, everything's all goody goody goody. So, but um. Yeah, like I say, um, that's the reason why the police come round my house yesterday. So it is what it is. In a bubbling bims. Yeah. Right, come on in. Come up there then. Um, so, yeah, I'm, it's just taking time really. But I'm looking forward to the outcome. Um, to be fair, um, the police have said they've been in contact with my solicitor and they've said that um, my solicitor will get in contact with me on Monday to let me know. But apparently I have got good news on the horizon to do with the investigation. So obviously it's either coming to an end or things are being dealt with. So like I say, come on. Yeah. So yeah, just it's just a waiting game now. So, so, I'll be glad when it's all over. No more troubles. So, I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, like I say, I think they're just making sure that their investigation is 110%. So, all my evidence has already gone in. So, But like I say, yeah, it was a dumbass move. It won't be happening again. So, but um, 
No, but according to the police, um, I think they're nearly at the end of their investigations now. So by the sounds of it, it looks like these trollers are going to be gone sooner than I thought. But, there's only one troller at the moment. So, yeah, just got to be patient now. I think one's bit one's been dealt with, they'll deal with the rest. But I'd just also like to thank all the other people out there that have been supportive and done statements on my behalf and things like that. I appreciate it. And, uh, There's just one more thing that I'd like to emphasise on, like I did last night. Anyone out there that's a victim of these trolls, I tell you now to go straight to your seek legal advice. Go straight to your solicitors or go to your police. And uh, if they don't, do their jobs properly get your solicitors to help you with the iopc so that's what i done was the best advice i ever took i mean i'm still waiting for my my forms for another couple of weeks i'm just waiting for my solicitor to get back to me later um because he's in court at the moment um but i probably won't hear it from him until monday so because um, he works from home tomorrow, so I should probably hear from him on Monday. Um, and he's going to help me fill out my forms on my next appointment with him. Um, but that's what I say to anybody out there. Don't be a victim of these trolls, because they will haunt you until you do something. So... But no, like I say, um, that's what I say to anybody out there. Um, seek legal advice. Go to your police, go to your solicitors. Um, and uh, don't let these trolls get you down. So, but um, it is what it is. So, but no, like I say, that's, that's what happened. That was the reason why the police were around my house last night. Major, major fucking dodo on my side. But, um, yeah, um, it won't be happening again. Um, but, yeah, I was angry at the time and, yeah, I lashed out. But um, I actually threatened to, to kill. This troll. And, um, yeah, the officer didn't take too kindly to it. But, yeah, it was a major bow on my, on my part. So. So, yeah. But, um, no, like I said, I think it's just because I'm not that much of a patient person, especially when it's taken five years to deal with one medically, psychotically, very sick and twisted individual. But um, like I say, this particular troll is only just part of one of a very, very, very large ring of them. So once this, this first one's out of the way,
then I shall deal with the rest. But uh, but it is what it is. But like I say, I like to emphasise on the fact that if there's any victims out there that are being trolled on in every way, shape or form, don't be a victim. Um, be a survivor. Because um, that was funny, actually, when the police called me up earlier on. They said, Mr Sullivan, you're a survivor. You're not a victim no more, you're a survivor. Um, a survivor of online abuse. And, uh, yeah, I'm a survivor. But don't be a victim. Go and seek legal help. Go and seek your solicitors and the police. So, but like I say, that's all I've got to say, really. But try and keep your head up and keep going forward. Don't let these assholes get you down. So, you know, it's just, it's just not worth it, you know. So, that's all I've got to say, really. So... At the moment, at the moment, no, it doesn't undermine my case. <clears throat> They've actually listened to the message. They could see that I was quite distressed and and um, sort of like, how can I say, very, very angry and frustrated. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, not the most cleverest move of all, to be fair. But yeah, it was um, it was just a stupid thing, and it won't happen again. And you know, but no, there's too much evidence. The CPS have probably already seen it by now. Um, there's too much evidence against this particular person. <coughs> 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 Even my solicitors have seen the evidence as well. And, yeah, I'm not going to repeat what my solicitor says because it's not very pleasant. Um, and uh, it fits all the evidence to a T about this particular person. So I'm not going to say too much. But, but yeah, it's... Um, let's just say the particular tr troller in question is not a very well man. And they've already proven that anyway. They've already proven that. He's not a well man. He's obviously been in some sort of a institution at some point in his life. By the way of his actions. Um, because they have watched his live streams from time to time. Not all the time, but from time to time. And the guy just literally talks about me. He sings about me. Spreads bullshit about me. And they've seen the evidence and they've said by the evidence that we've got, it proves that the guy is, what was it? One of the officers said he's, he's medically unhinged. That was their words. So I'm not going to say who by, but they said he was medically unhinged. So it's like, yeah. And that's why now I don't, I don't bother with them. I don't associate with them. I don't talk to them. I don't listen to them. I don't watch them. I mean, I'm actually watching TV at the moment. It's a load of crap anyway, but... Yeah, it's... Um, yeah, the police are, are gathering that. I think what it is, they're just gathering the last of their evidence now against him, and they're, they're watching his, his behaviour. And uh, and to me, I to be fair now, I don't really live stream that much now, but they've got access to my live streams at any time, day or night. Um, they know my passwords to all my accounts. So I've got fuck all to hide, to be fair. Um, but yeah. Um, but this guy is going to be dealt with very, very soon. By the sounds of it, it's going to be imminent, to be fair. Because a lot of things are moving about. I'm getting a lot of updates and stuff like that. So... So, like I say, there's obviously something going on. 
uh, they just said though that if this person does end up in court, they'll just give me an update as to what happens to his prosecution. Because there's too much damning evidence against him. Too much damning evidence against him. So that's why they've said, I don't even need to be in the courtroom. The evidence is too damning. Um, and to be fair, the last time I spoke to my solicitor was um, like, I think it was just before Christmas. Um, they said they wanted me to fill in um, a victim impact statement. So it's obviously very, very close now because um, they want me to fill in with the victim support. They want me to fill in um, a, vic uh, a victim impact statement. So um, they said they'll read that out on my behalf in the courtroom. I don't even need to be in the courtroom. Um, so, and they've said um, he can he can go for trial if he wants to. He can plead not guilty. But they said with the amount of evidence they've got against him and statements from other people as well, um, they've said the evidence is too overwhelming. They said they'll just find him guilty and he'll, he'll get the worse of punishment then. So it's best to just plead guilty and be done with it. So, and that's the reason why I plead guilty to my last case. Because they said the evidence against you is overwhelming. So it's like, there's obviously something going on because there's too much movement going on. Too much movement. Now I understand why the police said a long time ago, don't interact with them, stay away from them, don't watch them. So it just makes their case easier. So he, he's um, not doing himself any favours by what he does or what he says. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't listen. I don't watch. I don't care. I've heard it all before. It's boring. So... But I'm the only reason why I'm invested in 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 getting this guy done, is because the moment he pleads guilty, my solicitors have said I won't need legal aid or anything like that to take him to court, county court for slander. That'll all be paid for by his side. So that's the reason why things are taking taking time. The police are just making sure that they've got 110% facts before they act on it. That's why it's, it's taken so long. So, like I say, it's taken a long time and it's, you know, it's been very frustrating. But now I understand why. And to be fair, um, you know, it's patience now. It's a game of patience now. So, I can talk about it now because things have, have, have passed that point of legality now. But I can't say his name, I can't mention his name as in legal terms. Um, but, um, no, like I say, it's, it's being dealt with now. But by the sounds of it, it's imminent now. So I'm just going to let them do their jobs now and see what happens. But that's what I've been told anyway, so. So. So, yeah, it is what it is. So, it's a waiting game now. But it's like the police have said, once one's been done and he's been convicted and out of the way, you'll find the rest of them will go very, very, very quiet. So... So yeah, just got to play the waiting game now. But um, I'm looking forward to the outcome because they have said I've got some good news coming. So it's obviously to do with the case. So 
I don't think now that this particular person is going to be bothering me for much longer. So... It's sad though, really, when all they had to have done was, like I've said so many times in my live streams, go away, walk away, leave me alone. But they didn't want to listen. They thought they knew best. So now it's just... They just dug themselves deeper and deeper into a legal fucking pup hole. And now it's so deep now they can't get out of it. So, sad really, sad really, you know, you know, I would have expected better though from a person like that, you know, they've got, they've got a family and stuff like that, you know, you'd think that they would have been more responsible as an adult than to, to have kept trying to troll me, so... Yeah. Sad, really. Very, very sad. But I suppose it is what it is. You know, at the end of the day, I've got too much to look forward to now. You know, I'm I'm getting my son back in the next few months. I've, that's why I'm trying to sort this place out now. I don't have a lot of time left. So... So yeah, I've got a lot to look forward to now and that's why I say to people, you know, just let these trollers, just let them do what they want to do. So, you know, because the more you try and interact with these trolls, it, it will fuck your case up. It will fuck your case up. So... You know, it's not something that I wanted to do. So, but what happens when you're pushed into a corner, when you know you haven't done anything wrong? So, and now they're going to regret it. But I suppose I'm someone who's just getting on with their life and got a lot of things to look forward to whilst these silly trollers have got fuck all. So I count myself lucky. I count myself lucky. So at least I've got more to, to look forward to, you know. So. But it is what it is. I just hope now and just hope to God now that they learn from this this lesson and I hope that they learn it well because if they carry on doing what they're doing I don't envy them too much so in the bubsies my little bubby kids Cheddy. Anyways, I'm off now, guys. I'm going to go and uh, watch some TV and chill out and relax. And uh, I hope you guys have a good day. And peace out. And trolls, I am so sorry for what's about to come your way over the next few weeks. I never wanted this to be this way, but you didn't give me no choice. So all you trolls out there, all that I can say is that I hope that you've learned 
from all of this. And I hope to God you don't do this to anybody else. Because I'm telling you now, it's not looking good for you. You're going to have the roughest time of your life. And this is something I did not want to do. But you pushed me to it and pushed me to it and pushed me to it. And now I've done it. So let's just hope that you learn from this. I just hope that you've learned. Because if you haven't learned from this, you will never learn anything. So, because what you sort of don't realise is now, you're not just harassing me and trolling me. You're harassing someone that's on an adult care order for the rest of their life. Because of life-changing illnesses, you're also harassing the staff that look after me because they've also made statements as well. You're harassing my social workers, my housing officers, my health workers, my carers, and you're also harassing the, the very court system that put me onto my adult care order. So it's not just me you're fighting against now. You're fighting against all the legal system. And I'm telling you now, you're not going to win this one. You've lost already before it's even started. So all that I can say is, I hope that you learn from this. I really do hope that you've learned from this and you've learned well. Because the next time around, it might not be me. It'll be somebody else that's a far more lot cleverer than me. And you could end up getting hurt physically. So all that I can say is, all those people out there that are victims of these trolls, don't be a victim, be a survivor. Contact your legal services um, or your social worker or your health workers or care workers or whatever like. And uh, let's uh, stamp out these trolls. They're not welcome. They're not welcome here. Trollers are nasty people and they're not welcome on this network. And I will do everything in my power to stamp it out. So, anyways, peace out, guys, and have a good evening. And I will uh, chat to you all soon. Peace out, guys. Peace out.